Yo, what's up, guys? It's Twigger. This is going to be my first trip report. So, <clears throat> I just took 600 milligrams of uh, the Robocough tablets. My buddy, also on YouTube, I'll link him in the description, he gave them to me. And yeah, we just started, so I'll start up the video again once I start tripping. So, guys, I'm not going to lie, I just had a little bit of canes. So, um, let's hope. That doesn't kill the 600 milligrams, and yeah. All right, guys, so it's been about like 40 minutes, and I am feeling it pretty hard. Um, my head's very itchy, and I feel too fucked up. By the way, I took 600 milligrams, so 20 pills. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's the next day, so, um... I ended up doing the 600 milligrams, and I was pretty fucked up. So this was pure DXM. This is Robocough tablets, and um, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes for it to start kicking in. Once it hit that 50, 60, 60 minute mark, I've never been hit that hard by DXM in my life. It was like, I don't know, someone just skull fucking me is what it actually felt. And I'm sorry if like this is a shitty ass video. I'm I'm new to. YouTube, I guess. I've never really done a trip report. Never really done anything, else, any of this. Uh, shout out to Paul the Alien. He is my homie IRL. Uh, he got me to start doing this, and I'm gonna start doing trips. I'm gonna make sure I start writing down like the stories and anything. But hour in, first hour, I'm getting you know, Robo itch. It's starting to feel like shit. Uh, so I start to lay down. Uh, have my window open because it's like 20, 30 degrees out. Have, I have my lights on. I, I grab my laptop, sit in my bed, and then I start listening to music. So I start playing some Roddy Ridge, some Uzi, some, uh, uh, just something like that. I'm just listening to it. And I have to stop because I have to give in to the itches. I can't, I can't just let go. That's not who I am. I have to itch because I know I'm not going to be able to resist the urge. And so, you know, about an hour into the itches, I have the headset off. I'm laying down. And if I can edit a picture, and I will, I have a picture of me with the headset on. I looked way too fucked up, man. And um, I, I hear a voice outside my door, and it's my sister. And I'm over here thinking, like, uh, I'm a, Am I hallucinating? Am I hearing her voice? And she's asked me to do a favor for her, and I'm like, oh, I, I'm not getting up, That's, I'm sorry. And um, so I'm still laying down, I'm tripping. And, uh, here, let me cut this. Okay, and yeah, as, as I'm laying down listening to music, I have my sister, you know, screaming for me. I'm thinking it's a hallucination, so I put the music back on. And then I start hearing her yelling again, so I'm like, yeah, that's 100% her. And so I just, you know, did what a lazy ass dude would do as he's tripping. And I just stood there, or laid there, I guess. And as the trip goes on, I'm starting to recover a little bit. This lighting looks really bad. I might have to record this, but the trip's going on, it's going on, and I managed to sit up a little bit. I'm like, hey, let me, you know, hit this neck. And so I'll take two hits, I'm like, nah, nah, man, that ain't it, that ain't it. But I'm like stuck in place, I don't want to move. And I don't, I've heard people, they really get visual hallucinations from DXM. I don't, I get more closed eyes, and that's usually when I'm trying to sleep. Um, yeah, but I'm over here stuck in place, thinking in my head, like, Hey, bro, I'm, I'm just trying to lay it back down. And so I get up to take a, a piss, which, as you guys should know, DXM pissing is really hard. And um, so I get up, I go lay it back down. And DXM, it gets me thinking. So I'm over here for, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour thinking about, hey, I'm, I'm going to need to get a job. I'm going to need to... Uh, uh, you know, start getting ready for all that shit. And that's what DXM usually does to me. 
So I'm over here thinking like, yeah, I need to get a job. I need to move out. I need to get my life ready. I'm over here talking to my real mom. She lives over in Colorado. I live here in Iowa. I'm trying to, every time I'm high on days, I'm trying to like talk to her about let me move out. Next day, I'm like, fuck that. I don't want to go there. That's a crackhead. And um, so I'm thinking about that. And then I'm thinking about getting a girl. And every time I'm on DXM, I am so sorry for the girls. Because sometimes I'll find a random one and I'll just start like thinking I love them and shit. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know why that's it. And as hours pass, um, so by the time I end up laying down around 4 a.m., I took the uh, DXM around. Uh, my memory's fucked up. I think it was 11, but I'm pretty sure it was 11 p.m. Could have been 12 a.m. I'm not 100% sure on that. And turn this up. There we go. And um, so it's 4 a.m. I finally go to lay down and sleep. And I'm having these uh, really like fucked up dreams with the DXM, thinking like I'm gonna get kicked out. Um, a monster, I was living in like a mansion and a monster attacked and my dad was like trying to kill me or something like that. I mean, DXM really be giving weird dreams, but these RC tablets, they're really making me wanna sleep and I don't really use, usually have that much like vivid dreams that I can remember, so I definitely want to use it again um i want to keep this video going since this is my first video uh i'm gonna record again tomorrow morning and i'm gonna add on and talk more vividly of what happened to me i might even have to redo this part because of how uh dark it was and i'm gonna do uh with this channel i plan on doing uh a lot of benadryl trips dxm trips LSA, LSD, hydros, um, marijuana, uh, you know, pretty much just everything that I've done. And I have stories on stories to tell. And I'm thankful for Paul the Alien for uh, convincing me to go on here. And hopefully you guys see some joint projects from me and him. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I make another, or... Make another part to this video, guys. Yeah.